guys, so today's, hey guys, so today, hey guys, so, Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of my top favorite eye products that are under $10 and typically I like to narrow it down to my top 5 favorite products but with eyes, I don't know, I didn't realize how many products I have in my collection that I love that are all under $10 so I figured you guys wouldn't mind me sharing with you a couple extra products. I think we have actually a little bit over 10. I didn't do eyebrows just because I do have an eyebrow routine and I share with you guys a lot of my favorite products in that video and lashes will be an entire separate video on its own. In case any of you guys are wondering, I use the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. It was a tutorial that Kathleen Lights did and I basically recreated that look and did it today and I'm so excited about this look, mainly because I never really wear color, but it has definitely inspired me to play around with more colors. So if you guys are wanting to see like how to get this look, I'll just link her tutorial down below. Now starting off, I have a couple things that I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about. I love Wet n Wild. Basically as a brand, Wet n Wild is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands. I kind of want to do like a Wet n Wild one brand tutorial, so maybe that will come in the near future. But probably my favorite palette that Wet n Wild has created is still the Comfort Zone palette. I feel like so many other drugstore brands have come out with with eyeshadow palettes and this is still one of the best and it's definitely one of the most affordable you can find. This one I do know they still have, it just doesn't say Fergie on it anymore. There was another neutral eye palette they came out with, it was more like in a square packaging but this is the one I definitely prefer. I do have the other ones but personally I don't know, I don't think the quality compares to this one. I mean as soon as I see it I automatically kind of think of the Urban Decay Naked palette and this is pretty much like an everyday palette. I love that you have a matte black and a matte brown so it's perfect for kind of deepening up the crease or using them as eyeliners. I hate to say it's good for the price because this is just a good product in general but it's really rare to find good matte shadows especially from the drugstore. And I thought I'd just mention this little guy really quick. It just seems pretty basic. I mean it's just a cream eyeshadow but this is just one of the wet wild singles. I'm pretty sure these are around 99 cents. Cream shadows are just ones that I go to daily whether it be to set my eye primer, use it on the brow bone, all over the lid. I just feel like you always need a cream shadow. I know I've talked about these already or at least one color which is the one I used to use all the time and that is the elf long lasting lustrous eyeshadow and this is in the color toast and i feel like this is finally coming to an end i've had this probably for about two years maybe a little bit longer it is starting to dry out a little bit but seriously this little baby held on for so long and it was just one of those shadows that i reached for with my finger and just applied it all over the lid i don't get as much use out of these as i did the toast shade but these would make for great like all over the lid shadows as bases to other like metallic shadows now i'm sure you guys have heard about the NYX Prismatic, is that what they're called? Eyeshadow. Woo! Almost dropped it. And these are two of my favorites. I have quite a few of them already, but Bedroom Eyes, I actually did a tutorial using this eyeshadow. It's just the perfect bronzy eyeshadow. It has kind of like a metallic foiled finish, and these I definitely think are some of the top ones you can find at the drugstore. Like these compare and are better than some of the high end eyeshadows that I have. And this one in the color Mermaid is such a beautiful teal. It has a little bit of shift to it. And again, that same metallic foiled finish. The Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat. I used to use this all the time and it kind of got lost in my collection. So I recently kind of brought it out again. Mainly because I love glitter and this is the perfect kind of topper to any eyeshadow. I know ColourPop recently came out with a glitter topper. And that's basically what this is, but just kind of in a powder form. So it's not incredibly pigmented on its own. Although if you use some type of primer or sticky base underneath, you can definitely build this up and just wear it on its own. This is perfect for any type of like rose gold. Just anything you kind of want to give a little bit of a pink shift and a glittery top coat. So this I think is a great product. Now the next couple ones here are the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. I'm really hoping they still have these. There are some hits and misses. Like there's some really good ones and there's some that I have tried that aren't as pigmented as others. These two make for really great highlighters. This one's broken so it's like... <laughs> making a mess everywhere, but this one is the color Bella Chiffon, and this makes for a really beautiful highlight. If you have fair skin, this is so pretty on the cheekbone. And then I have two bronzy tones. We have Bella Bronze and Bella Copper. I'm not sure why they call a gel powder eyeshadow. They just feel like a regular powder eyeshadow, but they are very, very creamy. I think you guys knew this was coming. I couldn't mention affordable eyeshadows without mentioning the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. I've been using and kind of collecting ColourPop products for the past 
probably year and a half, two years. I mean, I could probably do a whole dedicated video to ColourPop favorites, but out of the eyeshadows specifically, I love the metallic ones. I do have quite a few of the matte eyeshadows, but personally, they're just a little bit more difficult to work with if you are familiar with the ColourPop formula. And these, if anything, feel more like a gel eyeshadow than the Milani ones. I find that they apply best just with your fingers, but I mean, just look at these colors and look at that shine. This one is Telepathy, which was one of the collaborations they did with Kathleen Lights. And some of these will have a little bit of glitter in them. Some of them are just like that nice metallic foiled finish. The packaging is a little bit bulky and make sure if you are purchasing these to make sure to seal them and don't leave them uncovered overnight because I feel like they would possibly dry out since they are kind of a creamy formula. I do have a couple cream eyeshadows. I love using cream eyeshadows just for every day because they require very little blending. Half the time I just blend it out with my finger all over my eyelid and you're good to go. So I stick with more neutral colors because I tend to use cream shadows for more like everyday looks. My favorites are definitely the Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows. Just like a regular cream eyeshadow, they come with a little doe foot applicator and they are pigmented. This is a newer one for me. I believe I picked this up at Ulta and it's by the brand Essence. It's their two-in-one eyeshadow and liner. It says it's waterproof. I'm not sure how many colors they had, but they're basically like a stick pencil and oh my god this is so pigmented and do you guys see that shine my friend was even mentioning like maybe using it as a cream highlighter just because it blends out so easily it's like the perfect rose gold peachy color i almost forgot to mention i don't even have it here in front of me but i'll go ahead and show you guys a little clip but makeup geek eyeshadows and i feel like that's kind of like an obvious answer especially if you watch my tutorials or anything and i love all of her eyeshadows like I love the mattes I love the shimmers I love the foil shadows the duochrome her pigments like so many products from Makeup Geek I absolutely love and I always recommend Makeup Geek eyeshadows to people when they ask what are my favorite eyeshadows or what palette I recommend just because they're only six dollars a pan and I know that can add up pretty quickly but if you just buy little by little you can slowly create your perfect palette and that's what I do I just put all of mine in the Z palette and that sits with my everyday makeup that is one that I created and I I know I can just find what I need in that palette. You know what I mean? All right, so these I got to talk about. I mean, like I said before, I love glitter. Like, I love using glitter any chance I get. I picked up some of these NYX Face and Body Glitters. They have a few new ones. They came out maybe a couple months ago, and I picked up four of them. I mean, I don't really know how much you can actually say about a glitter, but I'm not a fan of the actual, like, liquid glitter eyeliners, though, from NYX. Those burn my eyes bad. My favorite mascara, I know I recently talked about it in my ride or die tag video, but I just felt, I felt like I had to share with you guys. I've always just been someone who just purchases drugstore mascara. I really don't see the point in purchasing high-end mascaras. Mainly, for one, I wear false lashes all the time, and I just feel like you go through them so quickly, I'm not really willing to pay 20-30 bucks for a mascara that I'm going to go through. The Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara is so good like it's better than some of the other high-end ones that I have tried this is already my third tube of this and I'm almost out of it already if you are going to pick this up make sure you get the one in the green tube the first time around I picked up the one in the pink tube that one's not bad I believe that's the volume mascara but the false lash effect mascara gives you length and volume so a couple eye bases that I do really like um, this one is the elf glitter primer especially if you plan on using like the NYX glitters or just really like metallic finish eyeshadow using a glitter primer on underneath those are really going to allow that shadow to stick and come off more pigmented. It's only a couple dollars and I definitely think it's comparable to the uh, Too Faced glitter primer. A couple other bases that I like to use are the NYX eyeshadow bases. I know a lot of you probably used to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Since this came out, I haven't used that one anymore, mainly because it's just a lot easier to use. And then they also have a skin tone one. I'm not sure how many shades they have. This I actually use for my nose, oddly enough, even though it is an eyeshadow base, but I like to use this kind of as a primer for my nose, and that helps my foundation last all the day. There's a whole YouTube video dedicated to that little nose trick, so I'll link it down below for you guys. The ColourPop eyeliners. These have been with me for a little while now and I love them. I'm actually wearing one of them on my waterline right now 
which is in the color Zulu. Uh, hopefully you guys can see, but this color has been on my waterline for hours now. These are so pigmented and long-lasting. I don't know why I haven't picked up the black one yet because I just feel like that one would be amazing also. I have so many of these now, but I just pulled a couple of my favorites. I love the metallic finish ones. I even have this one in the color Honey Dude, which is like a nude color that you can pop on the waterline just to kind of give you a more like brightened up awake type of look for every day but the ColourPop eyeliners they're only five dollars they're retractable make sure you don't twist them up too high because i've had so many times where they just kind of break but other than that i do find them to be very long wearing and they just have so many pretty colors my last favorite eyeliner well i have a couple more but um i just want to stick with like ones that i don't feel like i talk about very often and that is the nyx vivid brights liquid eyeliner i find it so difficult to find good color liquid liner like that might sound weird like so many companies have them but a lot of the times they're not opaque enough and then if you have to reapply over and over and over it'll eventually kind of crack off but this color specifically the color of vivid sapphire is such a beautiful cobalt blue one swipe and you see that color pay off and these last a really long time i don't think they are waterproof but i didn't have an issue with them smudging or anything throughout the day so i definitely wanted to mention this little guy so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know i've already done a couple of these this is probably maybe the last one i would do for right now because i've already done face products um, lip products. I've done highlighters. I will be doing a separate video for lashes. So that will be coming up soon. And I would also like to do my favorite affordable eyeshadow palettes. I was going to do like $30 and under for like a good size palette, not just like, you know, a quad or anything, but good quality eyeshadows, like $30 and under. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure to let me know or just give this video a thumbs up. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not subscribed, I would love it if you did. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.